Hello Zed welcome back to the Scarlet Tower. So we unlocked a new character. Oh he doesn't have the He doesn't have a glyph yet. So he starts with a celestial bow. Shoots a burst of arcane arrows. Each arrow uh, deals 25 damage and can uh, pierce through two enemies. Yes, uh, so it's the passive static, static seal. Every five seconds marks a nearby target with static seal. The seal unleashes thunderstorm when hit, dealing area damage. Ooh. Yeah, these are still the same. I haven't upgraded those. Oh, that's how you get that. Oh, there's one you need to find at night time. That's gonna be hard to do. Weapons. So fire staff to rank 5 gives you that one. So yeah, I need to get all of the weapons to like have your uh, TS. Please level 30 to the roof relic. Survive 24 minutes to get the new map. Survive for 15 minutes is the last one on general. So let's go. Play. So yeah, it's like a triple sh uh, arrow shot. Oh, that's the. Let's see, Thunderstaff, let's Hellfire it, now let's get Frostaff, let's steal Bow up. oh that's the first time I've seen this, a main weapon up. So you can increase the, the main weapon. Uh, fire staff. Let's get all the low tier weapons. And hopefully, we can get them all the way uh, to max level. Uh, max HP up this time. Let's get some survivability. Top the staff. I'm pretty sure that if I get the staff to level 5. It will unlock the, the next tier of the of that staff. Uh, five staff projectiles up. That Thunderclave is not useful yet. Because there's not enough enemies. But that's only a matter of time. So this only increases the main weapon. So let's get uh, Frost Staff up. It looks like cooldown is the one you want for all the other weapons, and then attack speed is just main weapon. I don't know what affects this one. Let's just get power content. Hopefully that affects everything. It is like a purple, so... Let's get fire staff up. Now it's getting harder. Sacred water. Yeah, 
Bitch ass. No, no fuck. Oh, now the lighting didn't trigger. Let's get... Actually, get one. let's get fire staff off. Huh? Can max that out. We don't get the uh, upgrades for that one anymore. And it should do a lot of damage. That should upgrade all the uh, or uh, reduce the cooldown for all my uh, extra weapons. Attack speed up. I'll staff up. So two more projectiles. I've seen way less pedestals without the uh, lock-up. Uh, don't step up. Okay, about pedestals. Here's one. Oh, I can't trigger it. It's outside of my range. Fire step up. Too reckless. Midas fingers. Yeah, increase the amount of gold I get. Last steel staff. Creates an icy rain every 12 seconds that deals 20 damage and applies chill. So yeah, that's one of the new ones. Yeah, that's really strange that it immediately unlocks the moment you hit it. So you can actually get new weapons in the same run. Because I haven't seen it in other games like these. Oh, I have a lot of these uh, zombies or summons. The, uh, on that uh, AOE teaches. Uh, Midas fingers. And the boss is here. Oh, he's dying. He is dying fast. Let's get the pedestal. I think the problem is that he's mostly protected by all the other enemies. Oh, I'm stuck. Yeah, he's dead. Try to get to the chest. Without dying. Oh! What the hell? Fusion Water Staff creates a water energy 
every 7 seconds that bounces through up to 20 enemies dealing 50 damage. Oh, that's a new one. But oh, yeah, we got 5 of them. Yeah, there we uh, go. Water staff again. Yeah, so it's combining two staffs. Is that what's happening? Cross staff shoots icy shards every five seconds, dealing 12 damage and applying chill. Wait. So I can get the same thing over again? Let's just upgrade the water staff. I combine two staffs, but I'm able to uh, get the same staff again. That's strange. Another staff maxed out. Let's see if we can get the uh, evolved on the staff or the uh, next version of it. Test. It really wants to give me the frost staff. Why this fingers? And it still gives me one. It was really like, yeah, you want this. <laughs> oh well, it's not a bad staff at all. Uh, my fingers at max. Yeah, it feels like I always need to get the uh, lock on. Just so I can get more health regeneration. And probably get a bit more gold. From uh, the candelabras, uh, that we want to call those things. The candles. Celestial bow up. Or glacial staff up. So let's just get celestial bow. Increases bounces through up to 40 enemies. I don't need health. I'm dying. Damage by 50. Oh, that's health. Oh, I'm at full health on, uh, suddenly. I don't know what caused that.
Yeah, now this palm rate is going insane. I'm not. Well, I'm close to the uh, nighttime uh, event. Uh, let's get my XP up. See if I can. There's a chest. At least you know when a chest spawns. The hourglass. I'm pretty sure I need to survive 15 minutes for another unlock. Well, it's about to turn night. Uh, so it's uh, gonna get way worse. Glacial staff adds three projectiles. Should probably have taken the uh, health up. So I could hit level five. Maybe we can still get it. What actually survive longer than uh, before? Sacred water. Let's actually get haste there first one. That should increase the uh, main weapon speed. Oh, here's these bastards. Oh, that almost killed me. Straight up. But one mistake will kill me. Yeah, there's no way. That's just way too fast. So we got Glacial Staff and Move Speed Relic. Yeah, Static Seal does a lot. Same with Water Staff. Like, that's a bouncy... So that was a fusion bomb. That actually set me back. So that's Static Seal up. Oh, that's a shockwave. Maybe I should just get the... Let's actually use lifesteal next. Walkable. Go 5,000 enemies at night time. So attack is all the way up. It still says recommended, but it's maxed out. Quite a bit of money. Let's just get armor all the way. And a bunch of regeneration. It's a thousand. So if I upgrade this, oh, it just gives you 1% up. It's not too expensive, so it's not too bad. Oh wait, uh, escape. Well, yeah, that's it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.